Yes, yes, kitty, yes, kitty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this New Year's edition of Greek Talk, the longest running web series to be hosted by a Greek professional wrestler. That's me, Andrews the Greek, ever. So, since it is a special New Year's edition, we will be discussing New Year's Greek traditions, as well as taking a look back at this past first year of Greek Talk. So first off, I'd like to wish everyone Chronia Pola. Happy New Year, Kali Chronia, many years to come, happy holidays. Starting off the list of Greek New Year's traditions is number five, the Kalanda, the Kalanda, which is Greek New Year's caroling, very much similar to the Greek Christmas caroling I mentioned in the previous episode. Number four is a very fun one, it's smashing pomegranates. Now, Pomegranates are supposed to represent luck and good health and prosperity. So on New Year's Day when you wake up or at New Year's at that time, as soon as it becomes the first of the new year, you take a pomegranate and you smash it on the front step or porch of your house. And it's to bring good luck, health, happiness, and prosperity to that household and the family within. Number three of the New Year's traditions in Greece is the Kalopodariko. Now what this means is that whenever you walk into a house for the first time after New Year's, including your own house, is you step in with the right metodexi into the household saying Kali Chronia. Now by saying this, you bring good luck to that house. And it's rude not to do. Number two on the list is Vasilopita. Now, just like Christopshomo is a special Christ Christmas bread for Christmas, Vasilopita is a special cake made only during New Year's. Now, part of the fun of this tradition is that there's a coin hidden inside of the cake. And when you slice the cake on New Year's, and usually we do this around breakfast time after we eat breakfast, you slice it up into however many people are in that family, whoever's visiting. You also have an extra piece or two for Christ and for the house. You then give the slices to everyone there. Whoever has the coin in their slice has good luck for the rest of the year. So it's also important to note that when you're eating Vasilopita, a slice of it, make sure you chew very carefully. Number one on the Greek New Year's traditions is a throwback to the Greek Christmas traditions, number one, which is Agios Vasilis. So we don't have a Saint Nick coming around Christmas time. We have a Saint Basil coming around on New Year's. He's our Santa Claus. So on New Year's, traditionally, kids will wake up and find Christmas presents, or rather, in this case, New Year's presents, under the tree. So those are the five Greek New Year's traditions. Hope you enjoyed those. And now I just want you to take some time and take a look back. Take a stroll down memory lane, if you will, at some of the highlights of this very first year of Greek talk. Yeah, I really like it. <coughs> For the sugar, <coughs> you get caught in the back <coughs> of your throat. Mm. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> and you feel the tension between your elbows and your knees? I feel tension, all right. All right. Oh. <laughs> Έλα ρε γυναίκα που χαθήκες τώρα, ξέρεις τι είναι το όνομα αυτό του Γιάννη, το, το παιχταρά, τον Έλληνα. What, what, is, what happened to my son? Huh? What's, are you filming right now? I was telling him about Hennessy. You changed everything. I mean, that's what happens when you get a little, you know, once you go black. Euro! Euro. Who said that? Euro. You think you're funny, sir? No. Opa, de Buropia! It's been a great year, and from myself and Greek Talk as a whole, I'd like to thank you for watching these episodes, for liking them, for sharing them. I thank you all very much. Happy New Year.